So one of my favorite things to do with these videos is look at your feedback and see what type of topics interest you the most. And lately, we've been getting some really great non-data science related questions. And I thought I would take a second and answer a couple of those. Okay, so the first question comes from Rajit. And he asks, what do you do to stay motivated in your work? and just accepting of whatever happens without worrying too much? Well, this is a very good question and I'm going to give you a little story. So a few days ago, I watched this TED talk that I haven't been able to stop thinking about. It's called The Five Hindrances to Self-Mastery by a Shaolin master called Xing Heng Yi. As soon as I started watching him speak, I was so amazed. He was so focused and there was something so zoned in about him. So I couldn't stop watching. And to summarize, the five hindrances uh, that stop people from being motivated are sensual desire. Okay, that is a tough one, but it mainly depends on what your goals are. <laughs> Ill will, wasting time and energy on negativity for others. Heaviness, being lazy or giving up too easily. Restlessness, this is described as the monkey brain. When you're actually trying to do something, but your brain immediately goes to Oh hey, I haven't checked Instagram for 90 seconds. Skepticism. This isn't just distrust in other people, it is also distrust in yourself. And this can stop you from doing anything. Shi Heng Yi also said this interesting thing about being happy. He said, The universal law of being successful and happy at the same time means finding the balance. To me, this comes from the idea of having a clear mind. And what I mean by this is setting a goal for yourself. Whether it is learning something new every day, working out more, opening your own business, or even finishing a project before the deadline. Having a clear mind would actually help you achieve your goal. Being restless or having a cluttered mind or actually being distracted by social media would only distract you further from your goal. You can basically control what you can control. You can control your actions, what you say, what you do, but you cannot control the outcome. So why the unnecessary worry? Usually people are so stressed out about the outcome or worrying about what is going to happen that pulls them into a constant worrying vicious cycle, which can be very hard to break off from. So removing your self-doubt and needless worrying would actually help you stay focused. So the next question is, how did your self-improvement journey started and how do you handle stress? Well, stress is completely normal. It happens to all of us. And I believe it comes from being too overwhelmed with what you have to do and worrying about the future. I believe it all started when I moved to Denmark to study when I was 19 years old and I started working full time to put myself through school. And as you can imagine, it was a very stressful period as I didn't speak the language and I didn't have a stable living situation. Every moment I would have free from work, I would spend studying and working on my homework. So I did this for three years straight. And in order for me to be able to reduce my stress or my constant worrying, I actually started meditating. And I do this as often as possible. And I can say that it really helped me because meditation really feeds into that TED talk as well. The thing I really think everyone finds so compelling about Xin Heng Yi is how he is with his energy in the present. His entire being is in the present moment as he speaks. And if that's the case, you don't have any energy to spare about any outside stresses, beating yourself up about the past or worrying about the future or just waiting for the next time to check Instagram. You just take a breath right now in this moment and feel what a breath and a moment feels like. I mean, that is one way of decreasing stress if you can actually do it. Drop your problem just for a moment and just breathe. Try that for 10 breaths. Meditation is funny because it's much easier talking about it than actually doing it. Even though it's as easy as breathing, I still do it about a 10th than I actually should. And yet I know that my stress levels are better, my work is better, and my relationships are better if I can only focus on the present moment. And by the way, this doesn't mean never make a plan about the future. 
It just means when you're sitting there planning the future, actually doing mindfully. So if you have a test next week, actually study for the test in the moment. Don't just sort of worry about the test. Go to Instagram and scroll half paying attention. Open up YouTube and start half watching a video, all the while half worrying about the test. Unless, of course, this is what you're doing right now. In which case, please like the video and leave a comment.